Welcome back to Fox 2 News in the morning. It is Thursday and Loaves of Love teaches skills, techniques, and the meaning behind kala. You can share the love with a loaf and love and choose from a variety of flavors. Thanks to a kala pop-up happening this weekend, director of Chabad, Chesterfield, Shanala, Rubenfield, joins us with where and when the pop-up is happening. I couldn't get that last one. You I did apologize. good. Okay, did we good. did good enough. The yes. most important thing is we're talking about loaves of love. Now, when you guys created this pop-up, did you have to make adjustments because of COVID? No, so actually this is really the first time that we're doing the challah pop-up. Oh, it's people, the first pop-up. Yes, okay. that people can actually purchase the challah. Usually, okay. Loaves of Love is actually a program that we do monthly where we teach how to actually make the challah itself. Uh -huh. And then the deal is, once they come, they make their own challah, uh -huh. they have to make two. Gotta one make to two. share with a friend. Okay, so you gotta have a little teamwork there. Where did the Loaves of Love idea come from? So, you know, so when it originally started, mm -hmm. I'll tell you the story. Okay. So, I, when my little son, he's now 20, when he was oh. a little baby, I decided this is a traditional food mm -hmm. that Jews eat on Friday night. Any ceremony, celebration, this is the food, this is the bread. Mm -hmm. And my memories as a child were of this delicious challah, mm -hmm. in my, my mother making it on Friday afternoon, and I wanted to do the same. Mm -hmm. The problem was my mother's recipe calls for a five pound bag of flour, which oh. makes a lot of mm -hmm. challah. And so I used to share them. Mm -hmm. And that's when people said, hey, can you teach me how to make it? Um, when we started the classes and realized if we learn something ourselves, something should benefit for somebody else. And that's really how it came about to be, that when we have our classes, you learn how to make the bread, you take home the bread, one mm -hmm. for you and one to share with someone else. I like it. I like it. What kind of different flavors can people get in the pickup? Oh, my gosh. So we have a sweet crumble, everything bagel, mm -hmm. plain sesame cinnamon and sugar, um, all kinds of toppings to choose from. And you make Which, one for you and one for your friend to share with your loaf. Yes. Gotcha, yes. gotcha. Where and what time can people pick these up? Are we out in Chesterfield? We're out in Chesterfield, okay. so this is a pre-order. Um, okay. And the pickup is actually, we have this, next fr this Friday and next Friday. So tomorrow and next Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. The pickup is in Chesterfield Mall at Chabad at Chesterfield's temporary space, um, the main Cheesecake Factory entrance. and. Follow your nose and you'll smell where we are. <laughs> Follow the nose. That's a, good, that's a good piece of advice right there. Why is it important for you as a Jewish person to keep this tradition alive so people can have this opportunity to celebrate? You know, that's such a good question. I feel like food associates us with so many memories mm -hmm. and really connects us to our heritage and our traditions. And if there's any way that we can do that through food, mm -hmm. um, we love to do that. You know, this reminds us being around the Shabbat table with our family, our grandparents, mm -hmm. and passing that tradition to the next generation is super important. We're gonna have this full interview on our website, foxunow.com, so you can go pick these up at the pop-up. It's happening at the old Chesterfield Mall. I noticed you brought two. Yes. One for you and one for me. You got it. I'm gonna taste this one, but in the meantime, we're gonna to toss it over to Margie.